Okay, in life, I know there are so many diseases out there. And diabetes is probably one of the most misunderstood diseases. So I'm here to tell you five misconceptions about diabetes. Number one, diabetes is contagious. I've learned in my 34 years of life that if you attach the word disease to any kind of word, it's contagious. People lose their damn mind. You know, I woke up this morning and I got this gingivitis disease. Oh my God, it's contagious. I woke up this morning and I got the dumb disease. I'm going to be stupid because it's contagious. Diabetes is not contagious. You can't get diabetes from hugging, loving, kissing, or the other thing. You can't get diabetes from that, man. I know the hysteria that goes along with hearing the word disease and hospital visits and doctors and stuff, but being diabetic usually have to do with family history, your eating habits, your weight gains, and things like that. If you think hugging your friend Charles who's diabetic is going to give you diabetes, you need to go see a crisscross applesauce in the middle of a hyena pen at the end of the Lion King part one, man. Number two, anybody that got diabetes can't eat no kind of sugar. I want you to go walk up to a person with diabetes who's been handling their diabetes their entire life with a healthy diet and you tell them they can't have none of grandma pie at Thanksgiving or you go tell them they can't have none of Lunny cake at little Lunny fourth birthday. You go tell them that and watch your mouth get rewired. Contrary to popular belief, diabetic people can eat candy and sugar and cake, but a person that has diabetes is way more aware of what they're eating and what they're drinking and what it's doing to their body, which we should all be. We shouldn't have to be diabetic to know that two or three Sprites ain't that good for the insides of your body. And a Pepsi that goes in your body can be used to clean an engine on a 1995 Toyota Corolla with a missing headlight. How am I supposed to know a Pepsi was able to do that? Number three, eating too much candy and sweets gonna make you diabetic. Nah, that's not how diabetes work. I really need us to open some books. But eating too much candy and sweets and sugar and drinking soda and stuff, that's probably going to make you real unhealthy and make your body slow down to a point where you feel like you're walking through snow and sit quicksand with Ugg boots on. And if you are eating and eating and eating and getting bigger and bigger than you supposed to be anyways, you are heightening your risk at developing type 2 diabetes. That comes with being unhealthy. But eating a candy bar, eating a Snickers, you know the joke, boy, you drink all that Kool-Aid with all that sugar, you're going to get some diabetes. Not true, because I don't been drinking jugs of Kool-Aid my entire life. Not saying I ain't on the verge of it, but I'm saying that's not going to be the complete cause of it. That's number three. Number four. People with diabetes shouldn't exercise. Be easy on them. <sighs> yes, having diabetes can become an ailment. Yes, not taking care of your diabetes could affect everything. Your vision, your limbs, your body weight can drop immensely. But diabetes is not going to stop a person from working out, playing basketball, playing football, playing hockey, doing backflips, doing front flip, being an auto mechanic. Diabetes is not a disease that's going to wake up in your body and say, you know what, I'm here now, so you better well shut the rest of your life now. Hell no. Nah. People prosper. People are healthy. People are big. It's just about taking care of yourself, man. And number five, diabetes contributes to a huge amount of the United States medical cost. This is true. I went and tried to ask G some stuff, couldn't find it. So I did some research myself and I found out in 2012, the United States, we spent $245 billion on treating people with diabetes. But the total cost that year was somewhere around $3 trillion or something like that. So it's a minute number, but $245 billion is a lot of money. So to anybody that got any friends with diabetes, I hope these facts help you out. Stop being so annoying. Hey, I want to get you this, but you can't eat that. I would have bought you a cake, but you can't eat cake. And to those who are living with diabetes, I hope this softens some of your answers for your friends. You could just send them this video and say, you know what? Get out of my face. Give me my peppermint pie. I don't want that Coca-Cola. Give me a unsweetened iced tea and I add some sweet and low sugar to that and I do want to go play basketball I hope this video is informative for your friends and your family damn 245 billion dollars do you know what I can do with 245 dollars right now with 200, I can probably call Sprint and pay Sprint what I owe them with 245 dollars I had you by my side straight to the top girl I'm gonna make you hot cause you're just four times a late day oh no listen spinning around until it's something I can't remember the words that I'm saying straight to the top girl I'm gonna make you hot